This tree right here above me is the toothache tree, and this is one of the most important and strongest medicinal plants that I have down here in the south. Everybody ought to have one of these in their backyard. It's known as Tingle Tongue, also Prickly Ash, Pepperwood, and my favorite nickname is Hercules Club. This is a very powerful plant. You want to be careful of it, but it's definitely one you want to know if you're out and about and in need of any kind of medical. So let me go ahead and show you a little bit closer what this thing's about before I tell you how to go and use it. So identification, check out these leaves and they're pretty nice, they're kind of leathery. Uh, they've got a little bit of serration, upwards of two inches, feel real nice, real good. Uh, when you go on to the stems, you're gonna start finding thorns, little sharp ones. Uh, as you move up to the more mature branches and on down to the trunk, you're gonna find that the thorns get larger and larger, and meaner and meaner, uh, onto kind of a rose, thorn, and then beyond, and that's where it gets its Hercules Club name. Let me show you that. Uh, take a look at the bark itself. It is very mottled, lots of shades of gray, quite 50, but lots of them. So here you are, you're at the, uh, the rose thorn size. These actually pop off. You can knock them to the side and take them off. You don't want to do that because uh, deer actually graze these and browse them pretty good in different times of year. You get down to the trunk and onto the more mature pieces of wood and you can definitely see where it's got its name. So what's happened is the tree's grown around those original thorns and made them bigger and nastier. So I uh, would not be climbing on this tree, but it definitely uh, leaves an impression. Pretty easy to identify. Now the important part, not just because it looks pretty and it's all nasty and mean and you probably want to grow it underneath your daughter's windowsill, but as far as uh, prepper, survivalism, homesteading, this is the coolest part of this tree. The leaves themselves, uh, you can poultice them up or you can just chew them up, but they make a local numbing agent and it's very powerful, very potent, very strong immediately. Upwards of 30 minutes, if I were to take a few of these leaves and chew them up, my face goes numb. I get kind of a spearmint taste, very, very pine solly uh, smell, and everything starts to tingle and I lose the ability to articulate my tongue. So if you have something that needs to be pulled out of your mouth, very important. You can also crush this up and apply it to different parts of your body. If you need to have stitches put in, or you have some kind of rash or some kind of pain coming and ailing you, you can put it on and it will dull that pain locally and that's very important. Good thing to understand whenever you're using plants for medicine, understand each plant's different, different times of the year they're different. What that means is potency is going to change. You want to start out with about a half a leaf, put it in your mouth, see how it affects you. Add a little bit more, add a little bit more, find out how that tree works. Even 20 yards off, the trees are going to have different potencies. So don't grab off a handful of leaves, shove them in your mouth and hope for the best not a good plan. What I usually use is the bark itself and you can take probably about a half inch by two inch section just kind of skim it off the bark and the bark's very fleshy very soft and I chew on it and I like using the bark and uh, very very strong all the way through got a lot of liquid inside of it so again you can pulses it and you can actually lay that bark on places on your skin or in your mouth wherever the medicine is necessary. Uh, one thing I would like to note is that I like to take the bark from up on the branches not down by the trunk because I want to keep my trees healthy. I don't want to run out of them. So definitely propagate this tree, but take care of it. Only, uh, only cut what you need. Only cut it where the tree's not going to die because of what you're doing. So an amazing, amazing plant. It's also a uh, antibacterial. So Staphylococcus aureus or S. aureus, one of your things that causes all the skin infections on us humans and a lot of the other rashes and ailments. Taking this and mushing it up and applying it to those areas where you have festering or, or infection is going to work and it's going to kill those bacteria. So this is one of those no-nonsense plants. It's amazing. I love it. I would put some in my mouth right now, but I have to have people actually understand me here in a little while. So, believe me, this stuff works. And uh, guys, like and subscribe. Happy foraging. All right. Well... Let's go ahead and do this thing for the camera. I'm going to take a little bit of the bark off here and it just slices real nice and pretty. You don't have to get into wood at all. So there's my piece, about a third of an inch by an inch and a half. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> I've got it up next to my tongue. And it's already starting to go um, tingly. It starts to grow in intensity, kind of like uh, spearmint gum, like a big red. The tingle starts to flow outwards. And uh, front left of my tongue, I cannot feel now that it's starting to move to the right. The taste is not bad. It's such a strange textile thing. Very fresh. And it just grows in potency. So, try this stuff out, guys. Try this stuff. Y'all have a good day. Later.